Hi, Caleb with Brownouts here. And in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at the Magpul DACA Grid Case Organizer. All right, so first off, let's talk about you know what this is and then why it exists. All right, so what it is is a grid that these pegs fit into and it fits into the bottom of your case. Uh, this one in particular right here is the Pelican Vault 730. Uh, they also make it for a few models, other models, and then uh, throughout the year they're going to be making it in a bunch of other models depending on when you watch this video. So it's going to be available for a pretty wide variety of common cases, uh, including maybe a Magpul case that's coming out here pretty soon. Again, depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, but let's keep going here. So what it is, um, I already said that it's basically a grid that fits into the case, and it uses these organizers that are on pegs. And what the case actually, or what the kit comes with, is these, uh, these two slots and also some three slots here. So all you do is basically organize your case how you want using these pegs. So as you can see here, I have a firearm that's laid into the case and I've used these pegs to kind of organize it here. And I did it a certain way, which I'll get into here shortly, but uh, I promised we would talk about why this thing even exists. So let's jump into that next. So why this exists, if any of you have used your firearm in a rifle case, I'm sure most of you have, uh, or if you've ever flown with a rifle or you know, transported it a, a long distance, maybe doing some uh, shooting classes and stuff like that, you've ran into the issue of foam, especially in, in Pelican style cases. So what, the, the traditional thing to do would be to take a layer of foam and use either the pluck kind and just pluck it out to the general shape of what you need it for, or you traced your gun and then you cut it. Uh, two methods that worked, but they didn't work well. Uh, another re a reason for that being, like let's say for example, I have my rifle here, right? Uh, let's say I was running a red dot optic on it before I mounted this scope on it. Okay, so my foam is probably already cut for that red dot optic. And now I gotta, now this, this is no longer gonna fit in that foam that I already cut. Foam isn't that cheap for Pelican cases, guys. So uh, that's not really something I, I wanna have to invest in again and then cut again for a rifle that I'm probably gonna change again. So in comes the, the DACA grid case organizer. This is super modular. I can break this whole thing down, this whole grid down uh, within a matter of seconds and set it up for another gun. Completely different firearm. Maybe I don't even do a firearm. Maybe I fill it full of like Beanie Babies or something and I wanna keep them super super tight and you know he, those things are worth are those still worth money i don't even know I, let me know in the comments anyways i'm getting off the rails here point is it's super modular uh, and it's quick and easy to do and let's talk about something else here this is made out of a some form of polypropylene i, I don't know all the i'm not a not a foam surgeon or expert or whatever i don't know what they're called point is uh, it is chemical resistant and the actual grid itself is lighter than the foam that came with your case. So you're actually saving it. When I first saw it, I was like, it might be a little bit heavier. It's not, it's actually lighter, which is another cool factor there. Um, so now that uh, we know what it is and why it exists and why you should get it, uh, let's talk about how to set it up properly. So setting it up properly, what you wanna do is take the firearm in the case and you know, put it wherever you kind of want it, and then build pillars to support the gun from the gun itself, or the item, I should say. I'm gonna say gun, because that's what we're using here. Uh, from the gun to the edge of the case for maximum support and rigidity. So what this does, if, if something happens, if I were to drop this case, or you know, TSA just yeets it as far as they can, uh, and it lands on something, it doesn't have anywhere to go. It's, it's nice and supported. And uh, I think when TSA is handling your luggage, yeet is the technical term that they use. So I'm, I'm good there. All right. So whenever you first set it up, you start at the buttstock here. And for 
Guns that are under seven pounds, uh, you use two rows going from the buttstock to the edge of the case. If it's over seven pounds, they recommend using three. You just drop another third on there and that's no big deal. Then once you have that set up, uh, you just stick something here at the muzzle. And as you can see, I have a gap here between the muzzle and the foam, uh, which is no big deal. I mean, this thing, I'm gonna, it's, it's not going anywhere. This is just like worst case scenario. I need some support there, it's there. So then we start building pillars. So what I did is I started actually up here at the handguard and I built this one nice and tight here, keep everything from going up. Came to the opposite corner, put one at the butt, and then just filled these other ones in for extra support. This is probably a little bit overkill, uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, how it should be done. And speaking of how it should be done, if you have something on your gun, let's say it's like a light or I have a pretty wide scope here, and it creates over a three inch width coming up from the actual foam, uh, try to put those towards the center of the case. Like I did here with this scope, I put it towards the center of the case. I didn't set it near the edge or anything like that. Even though this scope isn't really that wide, I could probably get away with that just fine. Uh, but the reason being is because whenever you close this case, you're gonna have a really hard time closing it if it's right against that edge. And that's a lot of um, the feedback, you know, that kind of on this product people were doing just because they weren't reading the destructions fully. Um, so it, it, they were having issues setting it up. But whenever you close the case, you may see a little bit of a bow in the case, which again is not a big deal. Or you may have a really hard time closing the case at first, regardless of how you set it up. Again, not that big of a deal. It's not gonna be that hard to close. But when you do close it, just let it sit for a little bit. Uh, I, I set, I, honestly, mine settled within like 30 minutes or something like that. It, it may have settled sooner than that. That's just as soon as I opened it. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make here is when you first close it, the foam will compress and settle and then it'll be easy to open and close after that. Uh, it's supposed to be tight. It's supposed to secure your gear tightly. That's what, that's its job. Its job is to hold your stuff. You don't want it fitting in there all loosey-goosey. All right. So uh, some more tips I want to talk about real quick here before we get into the close is optics. As you can see here, my optic is free floated. There's no foam touching my optic. And again, this, I mean, it's, it's not going anywhere. The top layer of foam, which is the foam that comes with the case. This is the only piece of foam you use that comes with the case. Uh, Magpul does provide the grid and the foam under the grid. Uh, but yeah, free float your optic. The foam in the top of the case is gonna still compress everything. It's not going anywhere, trust me. Uh, and then let's talk about other things. As you can see here, there's, uh, there's a lot of other, there's a lot of unused space here. You can use that to, to store anything, you know, like for example, I can just drop a magazine there and then I can just use the rest of my uh, foam blocks here and just kind of build a cage around it. Uh, or I can just, you can do that with anything. So Magpul is also coming out with different, uh, different grid type inserts and different shapes. They even have like compartments that fit in with these that you can put loose, like smaller items in. A lot of, a lot of really cool stuff with these, uh, a lot of versatility. So if you have any questions or comments, or if you have any experience with this, post it down below, let us know. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.